this is. I'm uh, Elvis Presley's illegitimate child, Melvis. Melvis Presley. Well, we can't go on together. <laughs> okay. With bananas and Sprite. Now, I know last month or two. Why? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I thought the camera turned black for a minute. Why? I don't know. Well, these glasses. Oh. Like, I don't even see you. What? Hey, Blake, I love you, but I'm just kidding. All right. Okay. Um, so, we're here for the third Banana Sprite Challenge and the final. Yep. <laughs> banana found, banana found, a big right banana challenge. I know I did two. Uh, I did one on my own and I did one with my dad. And the final one is going to be the one with my uncle here. Uh, but I know last time, the one I did on my own, I said, um, this is going to be the final one. I'm not going to do any more. But then I realized a lot of people do these challenges with another person. And so he is going to do it with me. And, yeah, that's about it. I am genuinely worried. Me too. I haven't thrown up either time, but the first time I did it, I gagged. And I almost threw up. But, that was besides the point. Now let's get the trash can ready. Well, it's right there, don't worry. I'll put it in the middle, just in case. Alright. Alright, so, let's open up these sprites first. So. And just a reminder, we have a great, more... A theatrical channel called the Blake and Zep Show channel. Yes, go subscribe to that. The Blake and Zep Show. And let me tell you, this Christmas, just like last Christmas, we have our version of a Christmas carol that we have to plug. You got to see it. It's so funny. Blake does a great job. It's called A Name Brand Christmas Carol. So if you want to search for that, A Name Brand Christmas Carol. The Blake and Zep on Show. On the Blake and Zep Show. Plus we have a lot of other videos like Andy Warhol's Grave. Yes. We burying visit. a demon doll. That was the first video we did. Yes. That's a little bit of rottenness on there, by the way. Yeah, I can handle that. Now, like, imagine the first person, like, who created food names? Like, how would they come well, up with Well, this probably, a... like, fell on someone's head, like a <laughs> tribesman or a caveman, and he was like, his name was Joe Banana, so he yeah. called it a banana. Like, like, it fell on his head, and it was like, pook. Like the inventor of this drink, Jim Sprite. Jim Sprite made this drink, and... And Joe Banana and, uh, what was the other guy's name? Well, there was a guy, Jose Burrito Supreme. Jose Burrito Supreme, there. Yeah. Miguel Nachos Belgrande. That guy, he made the Nachos Belgrande. Uh, now, what was the person who made Sprite again? Jim Sprite? Or Fred Sprite? No, Jim. Jim Sprite and Joe Banana, they decided to eat their own products together, and they upchucked it. And that's how this challenge got invented. And they actually... Did throw up on this guy named Chuck. That's and he. That's why they call it up chucking. Up chucking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's funny. You know, Martin Veal Parmesan invented Veal the Veal Parmesan. Yeah. yeah. Who would have guessed? Who like um, think, like uh, Robert Tootsie Pop. He made the Tootsie Pops. Yep. Yeah. That girl, Kathy Detritus. <laughs> 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 oh my god, we cracked each other up. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm, this is already getting filling to me. <laughs> no, one no. banana, <laughs> not even one banana. And we still got another one down the road, and, oh my god. and the Sprite. Now, there's no toning back now. No toning back now. You're well, technically, we're only three quarters of a banana through us, so. I'd say there's no turning back when the Sprite's in our stomach. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you got to eat that fast, man. I know. All right. All right. <laughs> We're slow eaters. Yeah, You're done true. with your folks for now. I used to be a quick eater. I guess I still am, but... You're like a Randy, uh, what's his name on YouTube? The Randy guy? Oh, Randy Santel. Randy, Randy Santel. Competitive food eater. Yeah, he the, can eat anything. The crab this leg thing. Remember this the, guy eats so much food, I've never seen anything like him. There are the crab leg platter he did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he ate uh, something that was just ridiculous because it was made of like French fries. All the, I mean, it was just way too many potatoes for a human being to ever eat. Oh. Rice. What would the uh, what's it? The heart attack grill. Remember he went there for oh, a yeah. meal. The heart attack grill. That place makes these giant 
burgers. They cook their burgers in butter. They Ew. fry their fries in like this saturated fat. Ew. Yeah. No. All right, number two. Now you could go ahead and drink this right before me. I know I'm going to be a little bit behind. Yeah, that's okay. Then I can see what my future holds when he might throw up. <laughs> two bananas. And one Sprite. You look at that Do you eat these things? I do. I personally love those. I, I don't know about that. I personally love those. I like the little stringy things you find on the bananas. The bananas like are perfect, by the way. You know, like they just like perfectly ripe. I know. Perfectly, except the back here. It's a little oh, yeah, sure, yeah. brown. Dummy. Yeah. I will. I'll eat it. <laughs> now, folks. Banana splits. Bananas. The, first of all, the banana split movie. It's an okay movie. Have you ever heard of it? No, that? I never heard of it. It's about these animatronics that come to life and kill people. No, I never heard of that. Hmm. Watch it. <laughs> but yeah, banana split. Three different kinds of toppings. Chocolate, I believe. Maybe like a cherry bananas. or strawberry. Yeah, bananas, you know, obviously. Butterscotch, possibly. Mm. It was three different things. Nuts. Oh, it's so good. Mm. A banana split. What's your favorite food? Food? Mm -hmm. It's tough. Mexican in general is my favorite food, but I like lobster, of course. Lobster. Crab legs. Crab legs. Sushi. It's tough. These bananas are kind of rotten, but uh, I'll still eat them. Uh, on number two banana, and he's almost on his plate. Really not too far ahead of you, actually. Yeah. About two bites of this 40%, one. Yeah. yeah. I'm slowing down, not because I have to, but I'm kind of waiting for my teammate. Yeah. I'm almost full on two bananas, but a little fun fact, most of you know this, you drink a liquid, it frees up room in your stomach so you can eat more. Yeah, that's what the competitive yeah. eaters do. Yeah. They, you know the hot dog eating contest? Like, dip their hot dogs... In the, uh, the, the water. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm no. kidding. Yeah, yeah, they uh, dip their bun, uh, a hot dog bun, in cold water. But, you know, recently I saw that the pretzel rolls are, like, really popular with hot dogs and yeah. burgers and all. And they are delicious. Would you want a pretzel <laughs> roll on a hot dog? Yeah. You would? Mm -hmm. Now, I know what he, his favorite food is. It's not your cheese. Nacho. This guy will eat an entire thing of nacho cheese in a second. He loves it. So what? I know. I mean, nacho no, cheese. I'm just I know. Nacho cheese is okay. <laughs> I've had it a few times. No, nacho cheese. I don't know what it is about nacho cheese, folks. It might be easier to drink some Sprite. No, we have to eat the bananas. No, uh, who says? Everyone. Everyone eats the bananas first, and then they drink the Sprite. <laughs> What? Are you waiting for me? No, no. <laughs> I was wondering where that voice came from. I know. <laughs> came out of nowhere. So, yeah, is that part of the... You eat the bananas first, absolutely. Yes, don't take a single sip of Sprite until the bananas are completely gone. And then there's something in the bananas and, and something in the Sprite. Uh, people say that the sugar from the Sprite and the bananas... Make a throw up, but some people say it's the sugar from the bananas and the combination from the sprite mixing together, and that's what makes this makes Okay. It okay, you could go ahead and drink your sprite. All right. I am kind of thirsty. How many <laughs> ounces? Uh, this is 500 milliliters, which is about 16.9 ounces exactly. <laughs> you know you stuff. <laughs> oh, it's you written know. right there. Oh really? I was going. Oh, yeah. No. Wow. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it now. I don't know. You, you throwing up is going to make me want to throw up. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Cold, crisp. You feel spray. something? Like a si no, chug it, kind of. Chug it. <laughs> like, take as many gulps as you can. <laughs> you can't really chug a spray, can you? <laughs> oh, the burning sensation. Do you feel like of the that? carbon? Oh! Do you feel it? Yes, I know, I know, I know that feeling. Oh! 
It hosts, doesn't it? Yeah, man. It's like a... Oh, that's rough, man. I felt that twice now. Huh. <laughs> that's a little worrisome. <laughs> Keep chugging it. You have no turning back now. No, You're right. I'm no, at, the, you're at, the, I'm at point. the no turning back point now. You're at the point? I'd say I drank eight ounces of this easy. Yeah. Oops. Oh, there's no doubt a sensation comes over you. Yeah, like it, it's in the pit of your stomach and you want to bope it all up. Mm hmm. Yeah. So people who are susceptible to. Oh, for real? Nah, <laughs> okay, good. It. Okay, good. <clears throat> oh, no. I'd say people who are susceptible dinner after this. to suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to eat it. Um, <laughs> are you going to keep chugging it or no? I need a little break. Mr. <laughs> An hour later on the second banana. No, I don't know. The bananas are filling. I just ate two uh, ham and turkey sliders from Arby's. Oh, wow, thanks for getting me some. <laughs> I'm <Somebody laughs> eating a beef and cheddar <laughs> and a uh, Philly roast thing, whatever they call it. Ham and turkey sliders from Arby's. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Ew! That was a fake burp. Was it real? No, it was a real burp, man. I know. I hated to do that. No one's ever heard me burp outside of the family. <laughs> but, no, people have. Um, no, seriously, no one's oh. ever heard me burp in my entire life outside of my own personal it's family. It's funny. Now it's out there nationally. You never know, this could get like 12 million views. Might get 12 million. Which is... That's okay. But, like, it's funny. People will laugh about that. Are you laughing right now, or are you disgusted? It's either one or the other. I'm going to be able to do this challenge and finish 16.9 ounces of Sprite and two bananas in under a time period. Now, if someone did it, Casual. here's the theory. I'll never be able to do this. I've never really ate two bananas and a soul Sprite within a minute. Now, there's people out there that could probably do it in 30 seconds. That's the true test of whether you would probably... Upchuck. Upchuck, because if you can eat two bananas and a Sprite in 30 seconds, you might literally upchuck. Me, personally, I just physically can't do it. Neither can Blake. <laughs> I'm still on my banana. I mean, you got to understand, if you took Blake to a Vegas buffet, we'd have to spend the night there for him to finish his plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only had one friend that was a slower eater. He would eat food like this. He would be like, he'd look at every piece of food like... He'd be like, and then he'd take a bite. Then he'd get the next bite of food. I'm like, what is, does he have like a bionic eye that can trace bacteria and like part, atoms in his food? Eat you get, quick your spite. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to try to get take like two big gulps. You know, by the way. What? Where is the Sprite Cranberry? You would think they would put it out in stores yes. where you could find it. I have yet to find Sprite Cranberry in like three different stores locally. It's a Christmas, Christmas holiday and it's nowhere to be found. I mean, like, why put a commercial on TV if Today's you're not going to... the 17th. You're not going to stock it. Wait, yeah. we need to record that Thirstiest Time of the Year video. Yeah, it's a downloadable free game called Thirstiest Time of the Year. Blake's going to play it tonight at midnight because on the 18th, on the 18th of December of 2018, that is when it came out, and I'll do like some special tribute video for it. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be Sprite drunk after this. How I found out about this challenge was... I'm introducing too much carbon dioxide, carbonation into my system. You my said carbon dioxide. Yeah, my I'd... blood is like, my blood is going to have bubbles in it. Okay, fun set, fun fact. Whenever I do this challenge, whenever I do do this challenge, I always have major bad hiccups later that night. Oh, that's good to hear. And you both do. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. Now, how I found out about this challenge was Super Mario Logan, he did it, and that's how I found out about this. I was like, cool, I want to do it. And then I, then I... I mean, I'm getting to the point of bloatedness and... 
That's what it makes you do. Yeah. Now, if you chug the rest, you can be a master. Can't do it. I'd be ranked a master level. You are on this council, but we do not rank you. No, you seriously, it's master. getting to the point of weirdness, but not like getting sick. But there is like a weird... You <laughs> stretch your arm is always the key. Yeah. I think my, my muscles are getting some kind of... I'm getting the bends. The bends. That's when a diver comes up too quick and he gets oxygen in his blood or something. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> the blood curdling. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Maybe. It's called <laughs> shaking violently and near, almost dying. Yeah. The bends. I was scuba diving once in the Bahamas Bro? off the island of Matul. <laughs> and I swear there was a man down there. But no aqua no gear. Aqu no aqua gear. And his face was blue and he was coming at me. And then a shark attacked him. And then a shark did attack him and he ate the shark. I said, I'm never going back to the Bahamas again after seeing that. <laughs> if you can name what movie that's from, I will give you a shout out in the next video. <laughs> we'll give you a free PS5. In your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> but, bro, if you can name that movie, comment below. We'll name it. We'll, um, uh, give you a shout out in the next video. Ba, 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 ba. You done with this, right? I must. And you haven't had the feeling of throwing up. No. This is a. Anyone who throws up from this challenge is either, high, either highly susceptible. To like mind control, yeah, power of suggestion, or is faking it? They're not faking it. They're actually making themselves. So like they're like sticking their fingers yeah. in the way back of their throat, and then then yeah. and then their throat. I'm getting sick just watching. <laughs> Seriously though, if you oh, really I'm wanted to see me throw up, <laughs> make me eat like like uh, a like six pounds of okay. You know what you need broccoli. Yeah. Milkshake or something ground up with I don't know. Well, that's gonna make me feel ew. Yeah. No. With liver pate. <laughs> Ugh. We're doing next week. We're doing the foie gras, uh, <laughs> vanilla coke challenge. No, that's a that's a <laughs> challenge on YouTube that I'm not gonna do. It's called the Red Bull and Milk Challenge. You get Red Bull. You put it oh. in a blender. You get milk, you put it in a blender, you mix it together, and then you drink it. Yeah, see, that would, not to mention it would make your heart beat like, uh, like a race 800 beats per minute. Yeah. Don't mess with that Red Bull, folks. It'll kill Especially you. Especially if you're highly, you know, susceptible, anxious yeah. to begin with, or like whatever, you know. No. Actually, um. All right, look. The I mean, end. The end is near. No, it's not. I hope not. You have done it. I've done it. Now, funny thing, you just finished your sprite, and now I'm just beginning on my sprite. Three hours later. I just got to my sprite, guys. All right. No, this will be like, a, yeah, we used to buy Blake, we'd be at a grocery store or something. I, oh, I want a, I want a soda with Blake. Okay, mm -hmm. let's get you a soda. And then, like, it would literally be like 14 days later. It'd be like, Blake, you going to finish that soda? <laughs> In the fridge, yeah, we still got some in there. And Blake is one of those people that likes flat soda. I mean, my soda has to be literally f like 20 minutes fresh. Or, I took my first sip oh, good, trip. good. I mean, I cannot, I have to have carbonation, I cannot handle flat soda, it's disgusting. All right, I'm feeling bubbling. I do. I, I, I'm feeling it now immediately. Yeah, I mean, I did too. Remember when I first, yeah, I did. Oh, you did that real big. Bleh. Oh, I can't believe I did that publicly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. How do you feel? Bad. Well, you serious? Oh, already I did. Already I did. You took like two. <laughs> you took a one ounce <laughs> sip. I don't know what's wrong. You could have drank water and felt that way, bro. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, so you see how the lid is off like soda? I mean, oh, no. I can't even keep a lid off pop for more than 10 seconds. It, oh, it drives no. me crazy. I gotta have carbonation. 
And yeah. like when you get a soda that's cold, like when you get it with ice, it like it can, yeah. I mean it's okay, but it's not like it loses carbonation with the ice. But have you ever tried a freezing cold soda without carbonation from a fountain? It's fantastic, like a fountain drink. Oh yeah. No ice. Yeah. But then again, most of the time you get that it's warm. Okay, are you done? Oh no. Well, I'm leaving. <laughs> I can't believe I used to buy these uh, big gulp things, they were called. They oh, probably those, still I, sell. No, the gas station. Yeah. That guy, Badlands Chugs. You know him? Oh, yeah, I know Badlands. He did that. He did that with uh, Kool Aid, I think. They give you these big plastic <laughs> mugs now or yeah. something like that. And. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right, let's keep drinking. Okay. Um, keep drinking. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't, honey. Don't get yourself sick. Chug, chug, chug. Well, we don't have to worry about you in college or anything, chugging beer. Like, everyone will be like, chug, chug, I'm chug. Like, I'll be like, mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I feel like this. <laughs> I feel like this. That's some good beer. Ten minutes later. Hmm. That's some really good beer. Twenty mm. minutes later. I think you're being too kind. Mm. I think it's more like two hours later. Yeah. Like, oh, that was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> like, alcohol goes out of your system in an hour from one beer. So in two hours, it will be long gone. <laughs> I like it, folks. I do. I don't believe in drinking and driving. Don't do that. No way. It's a big vehicle of mass metal. You know, one of my favorite directors was killed by a drunk driver. Uh, his name is Bob Clark. He, and I'm sure you've seen his movies. If you've watched A Christmas Story at any time on Christmas Eve or Christmas, that's Bob Clark. And he was with his son. This is what's bad. Yeah. And coming home late at night in, in L.A. and a drunk driver had a head-on collision with him and his son and Bob Clark, the great director, who did a lot of horror films also, uh, like Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things and uh, Death Dream. Did you mention Black Christmas? And Black Christmas, which was like the first kind of slasher, slasher movie before Halloween. It was called Black Christmas. Chucky is one of those He slasher. did a movie called Porky's, which, I mean, he, he, and he, and he did, you know, Christmas Story, of course. He always was very inventive. He did a Sherlock Holmes movie that was great. But Bob Clark, rest his soul, drunk driver. And his More, son, too. Yeah, moral of the story. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. It'll hurt you, and it'll hurt others. Yeah. And it really is unfulfilling from a getting drunk point of view. I mean, that's yeah. a shallow feeling yeah. in the end. And you feel terrible afterwards, so why bother? Yeah, like I've heard stories of like headaches. Terrible. Yeah. People have told me stories about like how their head hurts and like they show up the next day. Oh yeah, day. yeah. They have major problems. But to each his own. I'm feeling okay. It's kind of in the middle. Like I want to bump it all up. Yeah. Not really a throw up feeling I had the first time. And the second time. <coughs> it's a feeling of uh, fullness. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, and burping <coughs> and coughing. Are you for real? For a second there, I was. <coughs> you okay? Sorry. I don't know what happened to me there. That was a legitimate cough of an old man. <laughs> no, you're doing okay on the Sprite. Man, I'll show you up close. Too. I was generally thirsty. I think that's why I was able to do that Sprite. Here's how much Sprite that I got left. Right here. So, yeah. If anything, I'm going to tell you a weird thing. I think this creates a huge hunger in you, actually. Alright, um. We're going to end it here. I'm going to take one last big gulp here. Yeah, Blake had three minutes left, so he was checking his time on his uh, video there. Yeah. So, Blake ate, drank easily more than half of that, I would say. And About 55%. Yeah, and I haven't thrown up at all. I had the same feeling three times of doing this. No throwing up. So, it's a real challenge. 
But if you intentionally stick your fingers in the back of your throat, you're definitely going to throw up. <laughs> yeah. But if you do it like how we did it, you're not going to throw up at all. Yeah, I mean, if you have a queasy stomach in general, it might get you. Or if you do it all in 30 seconds or a minute, it might get you. Yeah. Because and, you're and doing you... it so quick. And I think that might be the object of it. But at the same time, I mean, we still did it relatively quick. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, fake, probably, it's, challenge. Yeah, like if you, like how he said it. 30 seconds to a minute, or if you have like a natural que queasy stomach, you're pro probably going to throw up. Or if you like put, stick your fingers in the back of your throat and like you've intentionally make, your, make yourself throw up, then you're going to throw up. But if you did it like us, then you're not going to throw up. But we are having uh, tacos tonight, so... If we might throw up. <laughs> yeah, and we'll, get, we'll do another yeah. video and explain if it happened after we eat massive amounts of uh, tacos. We'll, we'll do a follow-up video if we do throw up. But if we don't throw up, then what just time do don't... you want to eat tacos? Let's go okay. get us some tacos. All right. See you guys later. Peace.